This is TVC News at 10, also featuring our Sunday specials, and we're reaching you live from our Lagos studios. We begin in the nation's capital, Abuja, where the Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria, as well as Max Air, have confirmed that two of its aircraft tires burst on landing at the local wing of the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport in Abuja at about 2.50 p.m. Spokesperson of the airport, Kayo De Adeyola, says 143 passengers were on board and an infant as well as six crew members, but there were no casualties. He says all those on board have been successfully evacuated from the aircraft and that it has been removed from the runway. He, however, denies reports of any fire during the incident. Max Air, in a release posted on its Twitter handle, says the tyres are now being replaced and the aircraft will be taxied to the ramp for further investigations before any release for future flights. The airline also pledges commitments to ensuring safe and reliable travel. Joining us now on the news is TVC correspondent Raf Lara Folayan to tell us more about the happenings at the airport earlier today. Hello, uh, Lara. So tell us more about this incident uh, there were unconfirmed reports about a state of panic at the time of the crash landing. Okay, thank you, Kemi. So earlier today, um, I marked airline aircraft to go from Yula to Abuja. That was in the afternoon. And while it was trying to land, uh, as soon as it touched the runway, two of its tires burst. And there are reports that there was a fire, even though the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria said there was no fire. And the airline's um, press release did not indicate that there was any fire of any kind. But pictures I saw online, I saw firefighters, you know, at the scene of the event. So after the um, the incident happened, the passengers were really scared, but they were calmed down by the cabin crew members, and we had, they were successfully evacuated from the aircraft with no casualties. The reports I got from the airline and fan was that there were 144 passengers on board, and one of them was an infant. And following that incident, the runway was condoned off for the airline to be moved off the runway, and that disrupted um, flight activities from Abuja to other parts of the country for several hours, from like uh, about 3 p.m. till late this evening when the airline was eventually moved off the runway. We also understand, at least from the uh, introduction we made earlier in the news, about the state of the passengers confirmed to us the true situation with them. Um, information that I got from some of the passengers, they, they said they are okay, that initially when it happened, they were really scared, but they're okay now because they were successfully um, moved off the aircraft to the arrival um, wing uh, with their luggage and there was no casualty whatsoever. And I also learned that the former um, president of Nigeria Medical Association, Dr. Ogirima, was on that flight. He was one of those that made that uh, public the information public on the social media and so far from the information of course no casualty um, none of the passengers was injured in any way and everybody's fine for now all right and, and give us a, a sense of what kind of investigations we should be expecting now at least to forestall uh, any incidents of this nature in the future Okay, the information from the airline in the press release they issued earlier today was that they were going to carry out their own investigation to you know what led to the tire post in the first place and um, they would fix the tires and the airline would be allowed to fly once again. But from what I understand, when incidents like this happen, there's a Nigerian Safety Investigation Bureau that used to be the Accident Investigation Bureau, um, an investigation wing of the aviation industry that usually carries out um, air accident investigations when things like this happen. And when it carries out invest its, its investigation, it usually comes out with air traffic accident reports, which it makes public from time to time. And um, in those reports, it usually comes out with recommendations um, to the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria and the airlines on what they should be doing and what they should not do to avoid incidences of this kind. So we are hoping that uh, this issue will be reported to the Nigerian Safety Investigation Bureau and it will carry out the investigation to know what happened that led to this incident and will come out with its recommendations as usual. Lara Folayo, many thanks for the updates. We'll rest uh, at this point. Many thanks again.